Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects, I'm Steph. Today we're gonna clean the enclosed fan that we installed two years ago. We've had a ton of questions in our comment section about how to clean the blades on this type of fan. First of all, it has been two years and I have not cleaned this fan, and you can see this is the resulting dust over that time, and in my opinion, it's really not dirty at all. But we will in fact today answer the question of how to clean it. First, remove the screw covers. We found a black stick helped to get under the cap, but we did run into an issue where one of them just would not come off, and you'll see how we address that in just a minute. Next, using an Allen wrench, I removed the screws. You can see right here is the cap we were not able to get off, but we were able to move the decorative grill to the side and use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the rest of the screws. This is called the blade guard and it's made of metal. With the last screw removed, the entire piece came down and we easily on the ground were able to remove that last screw cover and screw. These parts have never been removed, as I said, so that's probably why it was a little challenging to get them off this first time, but probably in the future I wouldn't have that issue. And here are the fan blades exposed. To clean, I use a Swiffer duster and a microfiber cloth to clean off any dust from the blades. I also clean the top of the fan with canned air. With that clean, I reversed the steps and added the blade guard on first with a Phillips screwdriver. Then the plastic decorative grill back in place using an Allen wrench. And reattach the screw covers. This is something I probably will not do again as the fan really didn't collect a lot of dust. And that's probably because I regularly change out my AC filter. But it is nice to know that it's easy to actually take this apart and clean the blades. If I were to clean the fan again in the future, I would probably just use some canned air from the top of the fan and I wouldn't even need to re remove the grill at all. At the time of filming this, we cannot actually find this fan available for purchase again, but we'll put a link to something similar in the description below. 